Hello students. The first lesson school of elements, the explanation I had done. We had studied about the different types of periodic tables which were introduced by various scientists. Now I have drawn a concept map which will give you a full review of the whole lesson. The concept map where I am going to tell you how the classification of elements were done. The classification of elements, why it was required? There were so many elements were found and it had to be classified according to their properties. So many scientists tried it. The first scientist who gave something to the world was Daubernier. Daubernier said that whatever elements were present, it can be divided into group of three. And therefore, his um, classification was named as triads. Daubernier's triads. Triads means a group of three elements having similar properties. So groups of three elements having similar properties, he arranged them in different groups. So Daubernier made different groups of three elements, but it was not so successful. What happened? It, it had various limitations. The limitations were not many elements were known. Whichever elements were known, they could not be further placed into what Daubernier wanted the triads to be. So it was a failure. Then another scientist, Newland. This Newland, he arranged the elements which were present that time. That time 56 elements were present. And those 56 elements, he tried to arrange them in the increasing order of atomic weights. So he arranged them with increasing order of atomic mass or atomic weights. So all 56 he arranged and what he saw, he saw that every 8th element had similar properties. So he compared them with the law of octaves or the musical notes. And therefore he saw that every 8th element had some physical and chemical properties which were similar. And so he gave Newland's law octaves or Newland's law of octaves. It was little bit successful as he could arrange them. But there were also some limitations. As he could not arrange after calcium, he could not see that the uh, eighth element from calcium had any, diff and any similar properties to calcium. So limitations of new lens led to another scientist to discover something different. That scientist was Mendeleev. What he did, he arranged all the elements in their increasing atomic masses. Then he arranged them in the, he placed them in the boxes in this way, vertical way and horizontal way. He made vertical columns and horizontal columns. And he went on arranging in the rows till he got the next element which was similar to the earlier row. This is how he arranged them and he made it as a Mendeleev's periodic table. This Mendeleev's periodic table was based on the increasing order of atomic masses. But that also had some limitations. And that limitations and research led to formation of modern periodic table which we are using nowadays. So Henry Mosley was the scientist who made this modern periodic table. He only made one change. He said that the fundamental property of element is not the atomic mass but it is the atomic number. So he rearranged all the elements in the increasing order of atomic numbers and he placed them again in rows and columns. And this is how he came to make the new modern periodic table which we also known as long form of periodic table. This is the concept map which explained us why the elements are needed to be classified and why it was necessary that the new discoveries were made. The new discoveries, the new inventions, the new research led to the modern periodic table and this table was accepted worldwide and this that's why it is called as the long form of periodic table. This is based on modern periodic law and this Mendeleev's periodic table was based on Mendeleev's periodic law. This is about the whole lesson in short which we have understood about the four major physicists or the scientists who tried to classify the elements.